And an Iraqi war veteran who was on really the brink of ending it all is sharing the story of how she took back her life with a bike. ABC 7 News anchor Dion Lim takes us along a remarkable journey of post-war healing and inspiration. Approaching the iconic span of the Golden Gate Bridge, a moment 4,000 miles in the making. Iraq war veteran Sarah Lee is on the final leg of a journey of a lifetime. Yeah, a lot of healing took place on this journey. Sarah rode away her pain, a journey that almost never began after her return from deployment. You kind of forget who you are and what you're capable of, and you just kind of deteriorate inside a little bit. I'd, I'd lost friends to suicide. I... Uh, decided to buy that bicycle instead of um, taking my own life. From one coast to another, as Sarah healed herself. The generosity and kindness I, I experienced on this journey was mind-blowing. And um, we're not as divided as we think we are. She inspired and raised awareness to an all-too-real epidemic. There are 20 suicides a day from veterans, and we, we need to find on this Labor Day, escorted by American Legion riders and fellow veterans. When I ran in the corner and saw the Pacific, I just... My jaw got caught my spokes. <laughs> this ride, which she named a vicious cycle, is complete. The waves of Ocean Beach lapping over her bike, washing away that pain. And in its place, a new goal. I want to unite and inspire my fellow veterans to take charge. Take charge of your happiness, take control of your life. You can't be a slave to your pain. Sarah's journey is just beginning. Next, she plans to start a nonprofit to help veterans disconnect with technology and get back into nature, connecting with themselves and with each other. In San Francisco, Dion Lynn, ABC7 News.